And um, yeah, yeah can you, you um, explain explain to the fans about the, the Bush Davis, the evaluation of development, the talent that that that, that he was bringing in. You guys was there. I think uh, Bush is my guy. Let's get that out of the way. Butch is a guy that who recruited me. He came to my house. He sat down. He had some of my mama cooking. I don't eat my mama cooking like that. You know what I mean? But I think what makes Butch different from a lot of these other coaches, he makes you want to believe. He makes you, he's the type of coach that make you want to run through a wall for him. You know what I mean? He sat down. I can tell, I can vividly remember this. I don't want you, Najee. I need you to change this program. Right? There is something about that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? He ain't come in trying to sell me on, on this or that. You know, he, he came and he made me feel needed. You felt that was sincere too. Yeah. You? Yeah. Like you sit down, you know, Coach, uh, Coach Dave was about like six four, six five, just this mm -hmm. tall white dude, just and just like, man, I need you. Right? He asked me about Santana. Yeah, Santana was good, but they had no scholarships for Santana. Right. But he, he's the type of guy who, to me, I think he can look at you, look at you and see that you the type of dude that, you know, going to run through a brick wall for yeah. him if you get him on your side. So, I mean, as far as his secret sauce, I don't know. But I know when you talk to Coach Davis and you talk to any of the FI, yeah. FIU kids right now, they run through a wall for Coach Davis. Yeah. And mind you, you have his missus. Now, we had a dude. <laughs> <laughs> you don't get them all, right? Yeah. You don't get them all, right? <laughs> We had a dude named uh, Adrian Wilson. He was a defensive tackle from Arkansas. And, uh, I remember that name. Yeah. So by halfway through training camp, he told Adrian Wilson, Wilson, yeah, I'm happy your ass back in Arkansas. <laughs> He's picking chicken. <laughs> but Adrian was Adrian different. I think Coach Davis went from, you know, seeing that these highly recruited guys mm -hmm. don't really pan out. Cause we had a guy hang on. It cool. He could be a good dude. I ain't gonna throw his name on there like that. When he came in, he was uh when I said Hollywood recruited, yeah. he was like he was up there like number one of the country type. Right. Uh, athlete, quarterback, running back, receiver. Uh, Who was the ex? I bet you can guess it. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. <laughs> it might, he had thirteen scholarships, yeah. man. Thirteen scholarships. Yeah. And uh he came to camp and we was looking at everybody to highlight. So we were sitting down, you know, looking at uh, Reed highlights, they looking at my highlights. We was, everybody highlights combined his highlights when you prepare. <laughs> now you got to mind you back then, oh, wow. you know, we didn't really know. I mean, I was going to play. guy is time. <laughs> yeah, but we didn't really know that, uh, you know, that you can have like private schools and you can have like schools where you be like the only black kid. Yeah. Playing with like five, 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 two right. white kids, so it looked different. Look at it that way. Yeah, yeah, right. It looked different on tape. You yeah. know what I mean? So we, I, I, we were all sitting in, um, in the locker room around the huge, just looking at the damn buddy, your buddy serious. And he got out there, and they, they lined him up with receiver. I think he played receiver for like three days, and they moved him tight end. Wow. But he came in like number one. You know what I mean? So I like. It goes to show so he wasn't right. playing against anybody. Yeah, at all. So like Chris Webb, like Chris Webber was like that, right? Chris was well. Chris Webber was really good, but, yeah, yeah, he, really <laughs> but he was played. But in high school, he played against like you know what I'm saying, little small private school yeah, kids. But, yeah, so that came in. Like, so I mean, it hit and miss. But the guys that I feel that he did like our class, yeah. you know, we had 13 scholarships. The guys that he picked, they uh, they wanted to run through the wall for both yeah. days. See, so I, I don't. Think, I don't think it's his. I don't think it's his. I think it's the staffs that he he, he he gets staff that can develop kids. Like you come to him, you leave better. Yeah. Um. And somehow he 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 can put these staffs together that are all winning coaches. You know what I'm saying? That, think about his coaching tree. Like the people who were on the staff and he, and he does he did but same he thing. But he came from good coaching tree. He came from Jerry Jones coaching tree, yeah. so yeah. they knew. Him. No, he was on. He was with Jerry Jones, with the Cowboys, yeah, right. uh, and, and Miami in the and early eighties. Yeah, with the eighties. Right. Like I say, that that Jimmy Johnson coaching tree in the eighties was they all of them end up being head coaches right. of some sort, you know, yeah. um, which was so crazy. Everybody on the coach uh, Davis on ended up being like everybody the head on the coach, coach Davis too. Um, Greg Schiano, Randy Shan, you know, stuff yeah. like that. Um, so Chuck, Chuck, yeah, it was a band. Right. It's just different thing, but. 
Could you name them 13 scholarship players? Uh, all of them? No, we had uh, Joaquin Gonzalez. Gonzalez is what? Uh, Gables, right? Yeah. yeah. Gables. Uh, myself, Linda Myers, uh, Devin Brown, Santana Moss, Reggie Wayne, Ed Reed. Uh, I'm missing some people. Was, was Dan Morgan with you guys? Dan Morgan. Dan Morgan. Yeah, wow. Dan Morgan. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was, that was <laughs> 13. That was 13. That was 13. Uh, uh, I'm missing like, I missed like two or three more, I think. Well, it wasn't Frank's was before. Frank's yeah, was before Bubba guys. was Jeremy Shockey, Shockey. But he came in like a Juco. Juco. Uh, after the fact. It's Brian McKinney. But he came like same thing with the Juco Man. type. Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah, them two words, you go with your brain and Jeremy. Yeah, so, I mean, so he was like, he was trying to make it work, you know what I mean? Right. So, I know it's a story, um, it's a story that um, I remember when I, I, I went out to a practice, I think this was oh, 2001, um, no, no, 2002, after y'all had just won the championship. Um, though all y'all, but, 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 but now y'all get drafted, so now, um, Sean Taylor and Kevin Winslow. Mm -hmm. they, this was a practice. This was one of the practices when they um, they going at it. I mean, they going at it physically, like, like it almost looked like they ready to fight. Yeah. And I was like, why are they practicing so hard like this? Like they, <laughs> they teammates. But they were telling me like, man, this is how they practice. Like this is why this is why the games be so easy for them on Saturday because they practice against the best. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I think you and my, we lost that big time. A lot of schools lost that. Yeah. But you don't measure me, like, you know, we, we go to practice and they out there practicing. Like, why is this guy out there? Like, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's that, that, that'd be the big one. Like, the culture is definitely yeah. different, but when when you hear, you know, your practice has got to be tougher than your games. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think we was like the epitome of that. Not because the who the, who the other person is now, fast forward 10, 15, Hall of Fame, Pro Bowl, whatever. But the determination back then, like, okay, you ain't gonna tell me any shit. We always had these toilet bowls, and uh, they give you MVP of the toilet bowl, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? I mean, like, you know, red shirt, free age, I mean, uh, walk on, whatever. They had like a game, like a little bowl game. Uh, Kenny Kelly. So I was the MVP of my toilet bowl, and it was, it was like a slap in the face a little bit, because mm -hmm. I know I can, I can do it, but. That the whole season practice squad, <laughs> and Reggie Wayne was another Reggie one. Wayne, yeah. That whole season practice squad, you can you can see our guys, the older guys starting to fall off a little bit, and one by one they start picking our guys off. When it, that that red shirt year started, it was a uh, Reggie Wayne. He started playing as a, a freshman. Mm -hmm. Santana was with me. It was me, Santana, uh, Air Reed. Joaquin played as a freshman, like right away, and then the season go on. Tanner came off, and it was just at the end of the thing, it was just me and Reed. Right. You know what I mean? We was going back and forth, doing scout team, but every chance we get, we try to make their ass pay. <laughs> and we, next time you talk to Rod Mack, next time you talk to Rod Mack. Uh huh. Uh, <laughs> I had dreads, right? So uh, I came in during the summertime, and I was in like the youth setup. We had like little phones or whatnot. And uh, I was on the phone talking to this girl that I had just, I had just met walking around campus and whatnot. And uh, first person came in was D. Scott. D. Scott played safety. Mm -hmm. And he didn't say nothing to me. And then Rob Mack came in and said, hung up the phone, get off the phone, bro. <laughs> uh, and mind you, I ain't never heard of Pace. You know what I mean? I'm from, I'm from the city. I got a three mile radius. <laughs> if it ain't Kansas City, Jackson, the West, <laughs> everything else soft to me. You know what I mean? So Rob Mack came in, get on the phone, real. So now I'm just, I'm just heated, right? And then these stars came by, and let me get on the phone real quick. So I'm sitting on the little, the little bench by the phone, just waiting for the phone, waiting for these stars to get off the phone. He just it's like talk. a payphone. What is this? No, it's just like a regular little, like a little phone that's on the wall. Okay. It had like a little cord. Yeah, take tens, yeah. Tens using it. Oh. Like a kind of like a prison phone without the pay, yeah. without the cord. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So I'm just waiting, 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 and uh, these starts hung that phone up. I grabbed that bitch by the face and ripped it off the wall. 
I can't use it. Ain't nobody using this motherfucker. <laughs> and by the time that bed hit, the second time, it's like boom, and boom, boom. All the upper class is in my face, right? They wanted to fight. So that nah, shit, it's, it's whatever. It was uh, it was Rob Mac, <laughs> the name dude named Michael Smith. And, uh, <laughs> they wanted to fight. <laughs> Call they wanted to fight. <laughs> yeah, that was city. We were about to show me. <laughs> So, uh, the Rob coach, was hood though. Rob yeah. went to pay, so Rob <laughs> yeah. went no, yeah, Rob went from the hood though. So, uh, he was like, uh, he told me, I can't wait to cut your hair. Like, he cut my hair. Coach Davis, I don't gotta get my hair cut. He probably told me that. Coach Davis gonna run shit in his locker room. <laughs> <laughs> so, that's what I know. That's when I know we're real. Yeah. Uh, but then we fast forward like a, a couple months. I'm running. Uh, scout team. I didn't run the toss. No, it was a fake toss. I carried out my fake, whatever, on jogging. All of a sudden, Rod came. Blind side. Off my feet. Oh, it was on now, Cole. It was on. Cole Davis had to pull me off the air. <laughs> yeah? Every chance I touch that bed, break, I'm lowering my shoulder. I'm lowering my shoulder. On the safeties, I had their ass moving out the way. Y'all supposed to be attacking the third. What y'all supposed to be doing? I want. I want even in the play. <laughs> I want even in the play. If Rod got to cover down on me, he can come cover down on me. Rod came and hit me. Uh -huh. I'm, back, I'm. I'm downhill. Every, it, was, it was a fake this or they were getting the ball running 22 lead. I'm pressing the hole, and as soon as I come through that, I'm looking for somebody to hit. <laughs> Coach Davis had to tell me to calm down. That was just it, man. And that's how. That's kind of, you know. How I, how me personally kind of like transitioning right. and coming hard on, on practice and, and scouting. And it changed as I got older, but I was just more like a vengeful type person back then. Okay. So I'll come down on anybody. I'm talking about at the ride. And this, you was weighing how much at this time? I'm about like 230. 230? Yeah. Rod was, Rod could only been about what? Two what? 230, 240. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I was He said, big boy, calm down, that big boy. <laughs> 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 Uh, no <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, man, um, we can sit here and do this all day, bro. Listen, we appreciate you coming by. You know what I'm saying? Um, this won't be his last time, man. We're going to make you a, <laughs> yeah. make you a, a, I mean, I got a normal on the show. Stories yeah, man, you got stories you can tell the days, man. But um, that's, man, Najee Davenport, man. Big time players step up in big